Climate change is pushing Greenland over the edge. As the planet grows warmer, the volume of Greenland's ice sheet is growing smaller nearly every year. Danish researchers have released data suggesting similar drift. It says in the past 20 years, Greenland's immense ice sheet has lost enough ice to submerge the entire United States in half a meter of water. Now, according to an Arctic monitoring website, the Greenland ice sheet has lost about 4,700 billion tons of ice. That is since measurements began in 2002. This represents 4,700 cubic kilometers of melted water. It is enough to cover the entire U.S. by half a meter. The melted water has contributed 1.2 centimeters to sea level rise. The latest data is shared by Paula Porto. It is a joint project involving several Danish Arctic research institutes. Paula Porto's findings are based on satellite imagery from the U.S. German GRACE program. It showed the ice melt to be most severe near the coasts of the Arctic Territory at the edge of the ice sheet. Independent observations have also indicated that the ice is thinning and that the glacier fronts are retreating in fjords and on land. There is also a greater degree of melting from the surface of the ice. According to the data, the west coast of Greenland is particularly affected. Climate change is particularly alarming in the Arctic. According to NASA, the climate is warming faster in the Arctic than anywhere else on the planet. The warming rate is three to four times the global average. The accelerated melting near Greenland's coasts can be explained by the warming of the Arctic Ocean. Melting ice from Greenland is now the main factor in the rise in the Earth's oceans. The territory's glaciers are now retreating six to seven times faster than they were 25 years ago. Climate scientists say the Greenland ice sheet contains enough water to raise the oceans by more than seven meters, while the ice sheet in Antarctica contains enough for a rise of almost 50 meters. Arctic sea ice cover has also shrunk considerably. It has lost almost 13 percent of its average surface area every 10 years, although its melting has no effect on sea levels. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.